in today's video, we are going to be re reviewing the Rock Pi 4 Model B Plus. And this is a new addition to the Rock Pi 4 family, and I am extremely excited to give this guy a go and really see what the Rock Pi 4 Model B Plus actually holds. And to be honest, this is my first RK339 single board computer, or my first single board computer out of the Raspberry Pi family. So I'm extremely excited to give this guy a go and see what we can do with this. But I do want to say a huge thank you to the company. Rats except for actually sending this over to me for review purposes because I am extremely excited to see what this Rock Pi 4 B Plus model actually can do for us. So let's open up right here. Pull it out right here. You see it says Rock Pi 4 right here. Kind of a cool little card right here. I might keep this. It looks really cool. We have a little plastic thing right here. And then here's our board. Not much to it. And it does look extremely like the Raspberry Pi 4. Three actually with that full size HDMI. But before we get started, I do want to mention the price of this guy. This guy comes around about $95, where let's say the Raspberry Pi 4 4 GB model comes around $55. So this single board computer right here is about twice the price of the 4 GB Raspberry Pi 4. So it is a bit more pricey. So we'll be seeing in this video, is it worth it for that extra, extra $50? Does this guy actually hold more features than the Raspberry Pi 4? We're gonna be testing that out in this video. So let's get started. So now let's talk about the specs of the Rock Pi 4 Model B Plus. So most of these specs are actually gonna be the same as the older models, there are a few things that actually changed in this model. So let's start with IO. In IO right here, we have the USB-C for charge. I don't think it can do anything else in charging. It might be able to carry data as well, just like the Raspberry Pi 4. And then right here, we have the full-size HDMI, which to be honest, I'm actually really excited about. With my Raspberry Pi 4 with those two micro HDMIs, I honestly like never use two monitors with it. I don't feel a need to do so. So having that full size HDMI is actually really nice in my opinion. I would rather have the full size HDMI over having two. Right here we have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack right here, which is pretty awesome. And then the IO on the back is exactly just like the Raspberry Pi 4. We have a one gigabyte ethernet port right here. We have two USB 3.0 ports, pretty standard. And then we have two USB 2.0 ports. So. I mean, it would be cool to see four USB 3.0 ports on this board, but still having the two is enough for me. So that's about it for IO on the top right here. Pretty fulfillment of IO, just like the Raspberry Pi 4, except for the full size HDMI. But overall, it's a really good board in terms of IO. Next right here, we have the, we have just the GPIO pins look pretty standard, nothing special there. Right here, we just have all our other, our other chips. And now you might be like, hey, where is that processor? It does not look like there's no there's processor on the top. Well, they actually put the processor on this board on the back. So we turn this guy over and bam, this looks extremely different from the Raspberry Pi 4. Our processor is on the back of the board. That is pretty cool. So if I zoom, zoom this in right here, you see it says RK3399 board. And this processor right here is actually six cores while the Raspberry Pi one is four cores. So it's pretty cool that we have the six core CPU, but one thing about it, there are the dual Cortex A72 CPU cores in here run at 1.8 gigahertz, then the rest of the four cores actually run at 1.4 gigahertz. So there's six cores in here, but two of them run at different speeds. So it's kind of odd, but it does work pretty well. And then right here we have our two other chips and Another amazing thing about the Rock Pi 4B Plus, it has a pre-installed eMMC drive, and that is right here. This eMMC drive actually comes pre-installed with Twister OS. How cool is that? Twister OS is one of my favorite operating systems for my Raspberry Pi 4, and to see it come pre-installed on the Rock Pi 4B Plus model is pretty darn cool. And that it's pre-installed on the eMMC drive means I don't have to do anything to it. It's always gonna be on this board. And it's a 32 gigabyte eMMC drive. And I've had pretty good speeds with it. It seems to work really well. And yeah, other than that, right here, we do have an SD card slot, which works just like the Raspberry Pi 4. And there are a number of operating systems as well. And then one more amazing feature about this right here, this is M.2 capabilities. It has you can connect an M.2 SSD to this thing directly to the board. You don't need you don't need any expansion board like the Raspberry Pi 4. It connects it directly to the board right here and it runs really well. 
So as you can tell from the specifications, this board right here is pretty cool. There's a lot of amazing features to it, but one thing to mention, this processor is on the bottom and you see it's kind of bigger than the Raspberry Pi 4s and that is why it gets extremely hot. I would not recommend using this board without cooling because I booted it up without cooling and without doing anything, my board was around 80 degrees Celsius. That's enough to actually like burn your finger when you touch the processor. So this guy actually does need active cooling or a huge heatsink if you're gonna be using this as a daily driver. But overall, it's really cool to see the EMMC drive pre-installed. I love having that M.2 drive right here that I can use. It's SD card slot too. So there are like three capabilities to actually boot off different drives. It's really cool. And I'm actually planning to just leave the MMC drive on here with Twister OS and probably install other operating systems to like the SD card M.2 drive. That, that way I can distro hop a lot and just leave my main OS on the MMC drive that comes pre-installed. So the Rock Pi 4C is looking pretty darn cool. And in terms of operating system support, there are a number of operating systems, probably not as many as the Raspberry Pi 4. I know there is Armbian, there's Ubuntu, there's Debian, there's Android, and all these are linked on the Rock Pi 4 website. And I'm pretty sure that this guy supports basically everything that the Rock Pi 4 Model B did. Because I really can't find much specifications about this board yet. It's pretty new, and they don't even sell this on their main website yet. The only place I could find this was on Amazon and AliExpress. So on Amazon, it was about $95, as I stated at the beginning of the video. But the Rock Pi 4B Plus is looking like a really cool board. And yeah, so let's boot up into Twister OS on the desktop and see how this board actually performs while we're web surfing, opening up applications using Wine Box 86. And this board does have a powerful GPU, so I'm excited to give that a go and see what we can do with this. So let's head over to the desktop. Alrighty, so now we're over on the desktop and as you see this version of Twister OS, if you're a Raspberry Pi user, it looks pretty much the same as Raspberry Pi OS because it is. It's just the Twister OS version for the RK339 devices. And it came pre-installed. I booted it up without any issues. It worked extremely well. As you see, there are a few minor changes, like the default web browser actually is Vivaldi on here, which is pretty interesting. I like Vivaldi. It's a nice browser, but yeah. So right here, we're running the Twister OS ARM Bean version. It's a 64 64 bit operating system based on Armbian using the Ubuntu Focal repositories. So it's a really nice operating system, runs extremely well on here. And yeah, so let's take a look at the desktop and really see what comes pre installed on our 32 gig gigabyte MMC. But before that, let's first see how much space we're actually using on default. Let's open up Gparted and see how much of the MMC we're using. And as you can see, the MMC on here is really speedy. I haven't had like any issues with this MMC. It's much faster and much more reliable than basically any SD card. It's a great device to boot from on the Rock by 4B+. But right here, you see we're using 9 gigabytes of space and unused we have 19 gigabytes. So obviously this MMC is only 32 gigabytes. So we're not gonna have loads and loads of free space. But it still is enough to get started and later you might want to like add M.2 or M or any type of SSD or like that to expand your storage in the future. But overall, it's pretty cool. So our dock on the bottom right here looks pretty standard, just like Raz Twister OS. We have our file manager, which I said was Vivaldi. We have our software, which is just GNOME software. We have email, terminal, and basically stuff like that. So let's first take a look at the terminal and actually see what we're running on here. So you see, it's just the, the default GNOME software. But if we pull this over to the middle right here, and we tap NeoFetch, we see that we have the Twister OS logo right here. It says Ubuntu 21.04, because I said Armbian is based off the Ubuntu repositories. And our Twister OS Armbian right here, we're running the Ragsa Rock Pi 4B. So even in the settings, it only shows as the 4B, not the 4B+. Pretty interesting. We have 2,152 packages. We're based off XFC. And everything looks pretty cool. You see we have 4 gigs of RAM on this model and our CPU. Even though two of those CPU cores are clocked at 1.8 gigahertz, it only shows 1.4 right here. I don't know why. HTOP looks pretty similar too, so our terminal and everything, it all works really well. 
So if we went over to the menu and saw our applications and development, accessories have a lot of accessories. Development, we have some stuff. Education, nothing in there. We, have, we do come pre-installed with emulators, which the default Raspberry Pi OS doesn't come with. I might go into those in another video, maybe. We have PPSSP, PCX, which is for PS1 games, and Mupin 64, and Nintendo 64. And we have a lot of nice emulators in here. It, the default Twister OS does not come with this. And of course, we have we come with some games like Steam, Ski Free, Box 86, and of course, Wine. It wouldn't be Twister OS without those applications. It's great to see those on here. We have Flameshot, LibreOffice, we come with PhotoGimp, and some other things like that. And Internet, we come with Firefox and Vivaldi. Pretty cool. We also come with Discord. Love that. And it's interesting that they chose Vivaldi as the main browser, and we'll get to that in a second. Everything else here looks pretty cool. And actually, because this uses up a lot of space, they said install Chromium Media Edition. If you click that, it will actually install it for you. It's just a Docker image, so it does take up a lot of space. That's why they kind of made it reinstall if you want, but it doesn't come reinstalled. After that, we have a README right here. We have Theme Twister, which we can change our theme to. Of course, Big Sur, Catalina, XP7. All those awesome themes are on here, just like the default Twister OS. Pretty awesome to see them on here. Overall, it's pretty much just like Twister OS. It runs extremely well on here. This video isn't about like speed. Just kind of showing you guys what the Rock Pi 4B is and kind of what it can do. But let's do some web browsing tests and see how fast this responds. Go to Amazon.com. Let's see how fast that loads up. So it does load up pretty quickly on this board right here. And it's looking pretty good. Let's open up another tab right here. Type in Pi 4, even though we're not on the Pi 4. It's just whatever comes to my mind. Okay, click this right here. And you see it loads up pretty darn quick. It's pretty smooth. I mean, this could be better than the Raspberry Pi 4, if I do say so myself. Pretty good web browsing performance. Next, if we went over to YouTube.com and ran like Big Buck Bunny or a video like that, let's see how good this guy can actually perform. I've never tested video playback on the RK339 devices, so I don't know. Can this handle Big Buck Bunny at 1080? I'm coming from the Raspberry Pi 4 perspective, so I'm not sure. Or here, let's run the 60 FPS 4K version. But let's set that did load up pretty quickly. Let's click the settings. It's right now at 72060. Let's make that 108060. Can it handle it? I'm doubting right now. Let's see. Come on, guy. Let's do it. Yep. Yep. 108060. At least in Vivaldi on the RK339 ring Twister OS, not possible. Kind of sad. I was I was hoping for a little bit better YouTube performance, but no. We're gonna have to stick stick to 720p 60. As you can see, this is watchable. I mean, it it's not. It, it, 720 is watchable, as you saw. 1080 wasn't. It's kind of a bummer to say that 1080 isn't gonna be watchable on this version running Twister OS, but maybe in another operating system such as Manjaro. But yeah, so to wrap this video up, the Rock Pi 4 B Plus model has blown my mind on how many features it has on the board. You can use M.2, SSD, SD card, EMMC, pre install with Twister OS. This is definitely a big competition for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I'm excited to see where this can go. And if you're interested in more Rock Pi 4 content, let me know down below in the comments and I'll start testing out more operating systems on it. Really seeing pushing this guy to the limits, but huge thank you for sending this over to me for review purposes. I have had an amazing experience, and yes, I would totally recommend this board to anyone who wants it as an alternative to the Raspberry Pi 4 because it's amazing. So, yeah, thanks for watching.